Good morning and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be covering how to create a fidget spinner in BlocksCAD. The idea isn't that we're going to be able to print or to create a printable uh, finished spinner, but just we're going to uh, understand the concept of how to do so, or some of the concepts. So we'll be covering some things like rotate, difference, and hull. Here I have pictured uh, the 22 millimeter skate bearings or mock-ups of 22 millimeter skate bearings to show you the idea of what this fidget spinner is going to do. Those are represented by this code here. I won't be covering this code, um, but I just showed it. I included it here so you could see the uh, the finished concept. Um, this also doesn't have any tolerances, so uh, you know this cylinder should probably have a, a 0.25 or 0.5 millimeter. Um, or diameter increase to fit these bearings so you would have to do that before printing. So to get started we're going to create a new project and it's going to ask us if we want to save this and I am going to save this uh, in case I need to show it again and I'll be saving nope let's change the name okay so it looks like we lost it okay so you know that's something to keep in mind uh, it's not a big deal. I have that saved as two different files with just a few modifications. So what we're going to start out with is some 3D shapes. And we're going to be doing, let's, let's zoom up first. I think I can do that. There we go. So we're going to create some 2D shapes. So I added a cylinder. And we're going to end up using four of these. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this a couple of times um, just to show you the duplicate command. So it duplicates whatever set of blocks is your, you know, whatever it, the blocks and the child blocks. So in this case, you have cylinder plus you have one, two, three, uh, three so, uh, blocks underneath. So we're going to have, we're going to be creating first a hull with uh, a cylinder and an offset cylinder. So let's first offset the cylinder with the translate command. That's under transform. So we're going to grab that there. So this is going to create the length of whatever of your fidget arm. So we're going to send that out 40, uh, 40 units. So it'll be a, in total, it'll be a, a little over an 80 millimeter fidget spinner. And we're going to center both of these cylinders too, just to make it easier to work with them. All right, so now let's, let's uh, disable these and render this. So I'm going to disable this block and disable this because we haven't done those yet. And we're going to render this. Let's set it to medium for the future. So you see, we have these are the two places where our um, that are going to hold the bearings. So let's increase the size of these because these are going to be the outer outer uh, shape. So let's increase them to 13 degree radius. And you'll notice that the secondary radius changes with it. That's because this is locked, shown as locked. If this were unlocked, you can change one radius without changing the other. And that creates, and I'll show you, that creates cones. So you see this is a conical shape now. So we're not doing that, so let's change this back to 13. Okay, and now let's add our hull. Our hull is in setups, yep. I can never remember. So that's how you uh, embrace a hull. So if you look at this in code, you'll see it's just, uh, you have hull and you have these two parentheses. And so if we go to blocks, you see the, this shape is basically our parentheses in our code. Um, so let's render that and see what we get. Okay, so we have the basic shape of our arm. Now we're gonna, now we're gonna enable these two cylinders. We're gonna enable that, or enable that block and enable that block. We're gonna add another, uh, a second translate to this cylinder. And this is gonna be translated out the same distance as this one and this is why centering and I'll center these is very helpful because you just you can things can be done a little can end up being done with a little less math so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this hull and we're gonna subtract out these two cylinders so we're gonna use a difference trans I think that's a transform or is that a setup yeah that's a setup there it is Okay, so we're going to do one minus that cylinder. Now, to add a second one, you don't just drop it in there. It won't let you. You have to add a holder for it. Now, this is an arbitrary distinction. Um, it makes it clear that these are being minus. So I like that for, for the beginner and, and for helping to understand BlocksCAD. But if you look in the code, 
you'll see you have difference and it subtracts out this first child or the, the first child of difference is is what's going to be uh, operated on and then you have these two cylinders being subtracted out and you see that there's no distinction between these two unlike in the blocks so you see these are just distinguished um, that's just to make the blocks uh, more understandable and that's why we do blocks so the radius of these is going to be both 11 because this is going to be to fit a um, to fit the bearing uh, skate bearing so let's render that and see what it looks like so you see our basic shape is taking is taking form and the next thing we're going to be doing is adding a for loop however in BlocksCAD they call it a count so you see loops and count if we look in the code you'll see this is represented as a for loop so that's our loop here is so it's one uh, stepping by one to ten okay so but we're not going to do that we're going to do one to uh, let's do three and step by 120. So what I'm doing is I'm saying I want three arms and I want them to be 120 degrees separated from each other. So, so that's the count. Now this alone won't do anything. We'll just have three of these right on top of each other. We actually have to add a rotate transform within the count. So I'm going to put the rotate transform within the count and the difference has to be in within the rotate. And we're going to rotate around the Z. So instead of having a value here we're just gonna put I so we're gonna go down to variables we're gonna take grab I and drop it on the Z holder there um, and let's hit render and 